Hello, this is Moon Ascension Tarot coming to you with a tarot reading during this full moon eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. What I have pulled here, I basically have pulled six cards, well, seven cards. I pulled two cards for the past. Two cards for the future, two cards for advice, and one oracle card. From the past, well, for the past, the, the deck that I chose was the Hermetic Tarot. The deck that I pulled for, for the future is the traditional Rider Waite. The deck that I pulled from for the advice is the Sun and Moon Tarot. And the Oracle card comes from the deck of the Archangel Oracle cards. So let's get into it. In the past position, I have Justice and Ace of Cups, both in reverse. And this, with these two cards, it, it tells me that there was some unfairness, maybe a lack of accountability, some dishonesty, dealing with yourself. The Ace of Cups represents self-love you know, our intuition, you know, being connected and in tuned with and trusting ourselves. Love, you know, that's a part of loving ourselves is, is trusting ourselves and and finding strength within our emotions. So with this Ace of Cups being in reverse, that, that signifies rep repressed emotions, things that are bottled up, and maybe there was a situation where you kept your mouth shut or didn't express how you feel in an effort to, you know, bring harmony or bring balance in the situation but you were doing yourself an injustice um, by not speaking your truth you know when we are when we are afraid of speaking our truth we we tend to you know shy away from speaking up or feeling like you know what we have to say is not important or just having a lack of confidence in what it is that we feel. Also with this Justice card being in reverse, there can be some dishonesty and not necessarily, I mean, this can be, you know, uh, with others, you know, Justice is uh, connected with Libra and we know that Libra is about relationships. So, I mean, so this can definitely mean, you know, this could be regarding, you know, other people, but this could, since this came up with the Ace of Cups, I believe that this is, you know, being dishonest with yourself. Are you not taking accountability for your life? 
for the choices that you make for your current circumstances. Are you blaming others, projecting your insecurities, your fears onto other people? Always calling out and judging, you know, others in a way that you do not deal with yourself. You know, it's easy to point out. It's so easy to point out stuff in other people. And usually, you know, in my personal experience, you know, it's usually a projection. You know, it's something that is so easy for me to call out in somebody else. I look at myself and I'm like, hmm. That's not something that I like. And it's something that I don't even want to admit that I do, you know. So it can be one of those situations. And of course, this all has to do with you, even with projecting out to other people. Okay, in the past position, we got that. So in the future, we have... The Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. I see a lot of planning, a lot of, you know, hard work, a lot of, you know, uh, mastery and development. You know, taking the lesson of. not being fair to ourselves in the regard of self-love, you know, not trusting ourselves and not expressing ourselves. So we, we take all of this energy and we use it to our advantage. We use it to propel us in our work with this Eight of Pentacles. The symbolism speaks to me that this man has isolated himself from the city, you know, and he is very much focused on his work, very much focused on working on himself. You know, another thing about trusting yourself and, you know, believing you know, in in your thoughts. You know, our thoughts are are the seeds for a manifestation. You know, everything begins with a thought. You know, and if you trust yourself with your thoughts, you can manifest. You know, beyond <coughs> whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. But. Two of Wands. I see all this hard work. Progressing you. You making the de- you making the de- the decision. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> making the decision to to focus on to focus on yourself, to focus on your goals, to focus on your dreams. The advice, we have the Hermit card and the Eight of Wands. We know that the Hermit card is about soul searching and 
being introspective. Sometimes that requires solitude. And we just spoke about isolating oneself from the city in order to focus on ourselves and focus on our work. You know, the advice here is to um, to really be able to um, look within yourself and search for your own, for your inner guidance. The hermit represents uh, reaching a heightened state of awareness. The symbolism of the right away comes to mind, even though I'm using a different deck. But look, uh, knowing that there's a a man with a la- a lantern. So that, you know, he can see. And even though he may not be able to see everything, he has enough light to to still move forward, you know. It's about trust, you know, trusting oneself. You know, that's what started this whole thing. Trusting oneself, going within and knowing, knowing that all the answers, all the the questions that are within us, we have the answers inside of us. The truth, any truth that we seek is within us. And the eight of wands. Represents uh, movement, fast pace, change, action. We definitely know that um, we can't stay in this uh, justice and ace of cups being in reverse. We can't, we can't. We have to change, well, not necessarily change the past, but we have to, um, we know that we can't do what we were doing in the past if we want a different uh, future or a different present, you know, um, if we want to change the present. So um, we know that action, you know, that movement will be required in order to move into what it is that we want to move into and leave behind what we need to leave behind. You know, all the um, attachments that are harmful or um, hindering, you know, they need to be to the wayside and cut off, you know, so that we can move into what it is that we want to move into. and, And that's our greatness, you know. That's our greatness. I mean, with this eclipse, that's what that's what, that's what this is all about. You know, moving towards our greater, our greatest versions of ourselves. You know, just really tapping into our full, to our potential. You know, and um, we are to we should expect life altering transformations. You know, and, and to to be just know that we will be in a state of change, you know? Right now, we are to focus on our soul growth, you know? Make sure that we are grounded and know... (coughs) Excuse me. We are to remain grounded. You know, we have to consider this Capricorn energy. You know, it's about hard work and putting in the work. It's not about shortcuts and uh, 
just do, you know trying to do the easy you know take the easy way out saturn is not about that capricorn is not about you know taking the easy way out it's about doing the work that is required and you know work is required here you know so we have to know that the past will reappear to test us you know, the past of, you know, this justice and ace of cups being in reverse, it will rear its ugly end, rear end <laughs> back into your um your life. But that's only to test you. So, you know, that's why the focus is to, to remain grounded and not, you know, be so triggered and just be triggered it's that that's not what we what we're here to do <laughs> um eclipses also brings you know a moment to refresh and to start over you know cutting out this justice and ace of cups being in reverse we 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 doing away with that we <laughs> we ain't got no time for that right now you know right now it's about hard work and planning for the future you know, setting our intentions, you know, um, being clear of what it is that we want, you know, and wanting the best for ourselves, knowing that um, <clears throat> we are uh, worthy of the best that we want for ourselves, you know. So we got to get out of that whole justice and ace of cups and reverse energy. So, um Yeah. And the oracle card <laughs> is spiritual understanding. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Let me read from the book on this one. Your special... Your spiritual understanding is rising to another level as you open up to new ways of looking at life. Keep an open mind and let go of limited thinking and illusions. Pay attention to signs, information that comes to you three times or more. Notice geometric shapes and symbols in your physical and psychic vision. Know that your increased awareness may shift your relationships and career goals. I'll guide you through these changes so your life mirrors your inner experiences. Working with Archangel Raziel. As the wizard and alchemist of the Archangel realm, Raziel helps us understand ideas that defy normal logic. He expands and challenges everyday thinking in ways that ultimately have healing effects. If you hunger for deep spiritual understanding, ask Raziel to enter your dreams. You'll, you'll soul travel with him to classrooms where he'll help you uncover truths and secrets. Upon awakening, you may not fully remember or understand Raziel's teachings, yet this knowledge is permanently embedded in your subconscious, where it guides you throughout each day. Namaste. I just want to say thank y'all for tuning into uh, this reading here. I wish you all a great, happy full moon slash eclipse <laughs> in the sign of Capricorn. Uh, we're finishing out of uh, cancer season and getting ready for those Leos. Um, and I'll see y'all next time. Until then... Take care of yourselves. Bye.